Like so many organizations, our friends at Talents Out Military Honor Flights had to postpone a special event due to the pandemic. It's rescheduled and there's a CD release party for a new album that will benefit the organization. And Mike is part of what's happening and is here with a preview. Take it away. Michigan became a state. President Jackson unveiled the 26th state. In 1861, Abe saluted her again with a Civil War statement. Thank God for Michigan. I was born in Michigan, I hope to die in Michigan, God bless Michigan, my home sweet home. Lions, tigers, and red wings, pistons, and griffins too, win, lose, or draw. I'm a fan to win through. Nugent, Seeger, and Grand Funk, Shannon and Motown too. Glenn Fry, Cooper, and Kid Rock, I guarantee the rock you too. And I was born in Michigan. Hope to die in Michigan. God bless Michigan, my home, sweet home. Michigan, my dream. Oh, Michigan, my home. Michigan, my dream. Oh, Michigan, my home, sweet home. the Motor City, north the Mackinac City, the rivers run blue to my gal in Kalamazoo, Alpena to Saginaw, South Haven to Quamanon Falls, St. Ignis to Lake of the Clouds, well I want to go there now. I was born in Michigan, and I hope to die in Michigan. God bless Michigan, my home, sweet home. And I was born in Michigan, and I hope to die in Michigan. God bless Michigan, my home. Nice job, Mike. Thank you so much for joining us today. Thank you. We love that your song really celebrates some of the best things in our state. Yes, it does. That is a deep love of yours, our state. Yes. Yeah. Pure Michigan. Yes. And yes. you're also a veteran, too. And that's kind of the tie that uh, bonds you to this event that's happening later this month. Can you tell us about your service and experience? Yes. Um, I served four years in the U.S. Army. And then I got out for a, a year and a half. And then I went in the Air National Guard for 29 years. Mm -hmm. So a total of 33 uh, years of service. And I retired last year. And then I wanted to find something that I could tie my musical talents with to help my fellow veterans. Yes, so thank you for your service. Uh, Talons Out Military Honor Flights takes veterans a lot uh, from that greatest generation, World War II and other 
um, conflicts that we've been involved with and brings them to Washington, D.C. to really see a lot of the monuments and to go back to those places that um, are part of the remembrance for that service. And Talons Out is what's going to benefit from this event later this month. Absolutely. Um, Talons Out was the, the the beneficiary that I chose yeah. to help the veterans. And the, the event that we're going to have at the Delton VFW on September 19th, is going to be where we're going to sell the CDs and celebrate talons and hopefully raise a lot of money for them so veterans can go to D.C. Yeah, on those I know that it's been put on hold this year with a lot of uh, flights um, and travel being uh, pushed to next year. There is a flight that is hopefully going to happen in spring of 2021 to bring some of those veterans back to Washington, D.C. and to be able to see that. Why is it important to do that? I know that you're dedicating the proceeds uh, from this benefit, a portion of them, to that mission. Why do you feel so strongly to get behind that? Well, number one, being a veteran, mm -hmm. and I think that we owe our entire existence as a country and nation to our veterans. Without them, we wouldn't have the freedoms that we have today. Yeah. Yeah. And, and uh, we celebrate that today <laughs> Absolutely. with this worldwide pandemic that is happening yeah. too. What is going to be happening at the benefit at the Delton VFW? Well, we have a lot going on there. Actually, we have Tommy Vale from Haley's Comets, yeah. and he also wrote the spare space, air, land, and sea theme song for the new Space Force. Mm -hmm. We have Alan Height and M6 West will be performing, the Stranded Hobos will be performing, mm -hmm. Blue Water Rising will be performing, and many other acts, and come on out, and we're, we really would love to have you. Yeah, that's happening again so. on September 19th. I assume a lot of the music and the gathering is going to be outside and yes, open spaces. Uh, we've been lacking, frankly, live music. This sounds like a real treat for anyone who comes. Yes, we're definitely going to be outside because we feel that people wouldn't come if it was inside because yeah. of the pandemic, so. Yeah, how yeah. can people, the Stranded Hobo Project is what you've been working on and, and what this will celebrate. How can people get a hold of your music? How can they celebrate it? And how can they learn more about Talons Out and supporting that important cause as well? You can go out to Talons website, which is talonsout honorflight.com, I believe. Yeah. I should have had that memorized. Well, we can put it online and, and make it easy for people to But find. you can email me at michaelcmadill at gmail.com if you would like a CD. Yeah. So. You know, I also want to give a shout out to your wife as well. She works with veterans too. And I know that for you as a couple, this is just really important. It is really special. Hi, honey. Hi, Debbie. How are you? <laughs> Hello, Battle Creek VA. Yeah, and I hope that they are watching. Yeah. And, you know, what a great way to take your talent and benefit others. We couldn't be more excited about it. I was able to go on an honor flight with Mid-Michigan Honor Flight, and it's very special um, yeah. what they're doing for our veterans. Again, you know, and, and a lot of them are, are aging veterans, too, that get to go on these flights. Oh, absolutely. They work with veterans day in and day out yeah. at the VA, and they're doing a great job. So. Yeah. Thank you, Mike. Yeah. We really appreciate you coming by and letting us know. Thank you, Rachel. really appreciate it. So, yeah. so go online for more information.